Ten years ago, Jackie Brown went to Thailand to get a face and neck lift. Seeing my mum in my mirror, thinking, that's not me, that's my mother, and as much as I loved her to pieces, I didn't want to look like her. So I had it done, took that leap of faith. She was delighted with the results and had an idea. I've always been a travel agent, I've always been a tour guide, and I've been teaching for years. And when I got back from Thailand, when I had my own surgery done, I said to my husband, you know what? That was so seamless. I could do this. So she started taking group trips to Thailand for plastic surgery. Adele Dredon had wanted breast implants for a long time and for her birthday, her husband surprised her with one of Jackie's trips. He said, how would you feel about going to Thailand and having your boobs done? And it was, it was just that whole, what? No, what? Are you, uh, really? After meeting Jackie, Adele was sold and she considers the trip a big success. I'm very pleased with the results. Yeah, very pleased. It's a 16-storey hospital. They are senior, senior surgeons. So you're getting a big bang for your buck. And it's that last part that's a big draw card for Kiwis. My breast cost 5,000 and um, the eyes for um, an extra thousand. Here, those same procedures could cost around 20,000 and 10,000 respectively, but there's more than cash to consider. When Adele told her GP about the trip, he didn't share her enthusiasm. He said, well, yeah, just so you know, I'm actually against this, but um, just please, please make sure that you have the insurance to cover you. His worries are shared by many New Zealand doctors. Overall, we think it is extremely unwise for patients to travel overseas for elective cosmetic surgery. There's a long list of issues surgeons here worry about for their patients. They include things like blood clots from flying overseas and infection control issues. And then if there was an issue with a complication, who is going to manage that complication? They aren't covered by ACC. To be fair, I've heard the stories of working in the industry of, um, unfortunately, people who've come back from overseas and it's been a botch up. Spend the time, don't be in a rush, and, and, and get all the information. And before you make a decision, Dr Adams has some final wisdom. Elective surgery is not about a holiday, it's a significant decision for your life. And um, I've seen patients who have come back uh, who have had much greater costs in managing complications than they would ever have had if they had funded the surgery in New Zealand. Interesting, eh? Look, you know me, I'm all for anyone making a decision that makes them feel good, whether it's makeup, whether it's surgery, that's cool. But to me, it just sounds like a really good way to ruin a perfectly nice holiday. <laughs> like if you're recovering from stitches and bruises and all that, just like have a cocktail and a lie down. And, and what about when you come back through immigration and like the, the facial recognition doesn't recognise <laughs> you? <laughs> you look nothing like your passport. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be that dramatic. I guess it's not really for me, but if you do decide to do it, nice to have people like Jackie who've done it before and can give you a few tips so you're not on the internet trying to work out a good doctor and where to go. That'd be great, having the support group around you as well, yeah. yeah. What would you do? Eh? What would you do? So um, much to fix. Well, yeah. Where I do you start? I could do one thing, maybe I'd make my wrists chunkier. They're a little, um... <laughs> I you, get you, a always make, you always make fun of my wrists. I do, because so they, look, of, they don't of, exist. Out of spite, I would make them twice as thick <laughs> as they are now. Speaking of that, that I would like... You don't want to be twice as thick. I would like I'd like a big barrel chest. Oh, yeah. Why? Because then I reckon it hides your gut. <laughs> like you can keep eating, but because you've got a big barrel chest, no one really notices your gut. So, so you want Adele's husband to buy you breast implants as well? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, lift them up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>